Hi, this is Mike Ruane of Revelation Software, and we'd like to welcome you to the latest of our YouTube videos. In this video, we'd like to give a condensed version of a presentation that we made at one of the Revelation Software conferences a few years ago in Las Vegas about how you program for speed inside of Open Insight. We get many technical support calls, and during the course of these calls, we're often asked, what is the fastest way to do this particular task? And the most common ones we have are represented here on the screen, and we're about to test them and show you the fastest way to make these different transactions occur. So the four actions we're going to talk about today are building an array, extracting data from an array, uh, using the field statement versus the square brackets, and also, which is faster, B-tree extract versus select. Now, in each one of these three tests, I'll describe what the code is doing. We'll actually run the code, and the code will actually be executed three separate times, and the results will show up in this screen right here, in the results. So the first thing let's take a look at is the array building test. We want to find out whether it is faster to build an array using string or using dynamic array elements. So let's take a look at the code right back here. Okay, so if you can see here in this screen, we want to build an array of 15,000 elements. Each array will be a number between 1 and 15,000. The first way that we're going to do it is using string concatenation, where we will initialize the array, we will loop through 15,000 times and build it up. Uh, in each of these tests that we're going to perform over the next few minutes, we're going to use the DOS time function to do our timing. So we'll have start times and end times in each one of our tests. Okay, so the very first way that we're going to build our array is we're going to loop through for our four next array with 1 to 15,000. And each time we go through the loop, we're going to see if there's any contents in a variable called array. If there is, then we're going to concatenate onto the end of array a field mark and then the contents of the variable i, which is a number. Or the very first time when the array is null, we will set it to the contents of i, which will be 1. Pretty straightforward. A for next loop. If len array, then array colon equals at fm i else array equals 1, or i. The other way that we'll build this array is using the dynamic array operator, so the angle brackets. So we'll do the same thing. We'll initialize the array to null. We'll say for i equals 1 to 15,000. Then we'll say array sub i equals i. So array sub 1 equals 1, array sub 2 equals 2, and so on. So let's go back to our window, and we'll click on the array building test, and we're off to the races. So if you think about it, what would be faster? Just the concatenating strings onto the end of strings, or using the angle brackets, which is much faster to type, and we all take advantage of it being multi-value programmers, but is that really the fastest way to do it? If we take a look at the results which have just come up, you'll see that test 1 routinely comes back as 0 0.15, uh, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01 here as well, as opposed to 5.5, 5.8, and 5.8. So at first blush, it appears that test number 1 is about 500 times faster than test number 2. And if we look back here, oh, test number 1, I know it's test 1 because I put the results into results 1, is that much faster. And it sort of makes sense because Open Insight uses the same string handling capabilities that most of the multi-value databases do. I mean, we're basically limited databases, so we must be very, very good at our string extractions. So our concatenating speeds are also going to be very quick. So for the first test, array building, is it faster to build an array as a string or by assigning uh, dynamic elements by number? It's always going to be faster using the string manipulations. Okay, let's scroll down our code here, and we'll take a look at the next test, which is our for next versus remove. Okay, so given, as you can see up here, that we've built an array that has 15,000 elements in it, say that I want to extract every single element and do something from it. Okay, so if we want to do a very simple test where I just want to loop through the array and extract every item. Well, in this case, I have for I equals 1 to 15,000, we've built that up there. So I'll, given that I don't know how many items are in the array, I'll count how many items are in the array. I'll do for i equals 1 to the number of these items, and I'll say item equals array sub i. I'll just go to the next i. So basically just the for next loop, extracting every single item. We'll get a start time up here, and our end time here, and figure it out elapsed. Now if we scroll down just a little bit further, we will initialize dos time again. Here we'll use the loop remove construct. And what loop remove does is that it says we're going to remove a particular item from an array at call setting flag. Now what this does is, if, if you can imagine that this line is the array that we move through, every time we go through a loop, first we remove the first line, and then we move the second piece, then the third piece, and then the fourth piece. 
And as we go through, internally, a pointer is kept. So rather than starting at the beginning and, and counting all the way out again, we just keep going from the pointer and go to the next delimiter. So if we say call equals zero, loop, remove item from array at call setting flag, and flag is different values. The online context sensitive help will show you what they are. We'll say while there's still a flag, repeat. Then we do the end time. So two different ways to extract the data. One is with the for next loop using the dynamic element arrays, and the second is using the remove using the string functions. We'll click on this test here, and this one goes a little bit faster. But if you think it through, and again recalling that Open Insight is a string-based handling language, the string handling way of extracting this information from the arrays should be must much faster. And we'll take a look at this. I want you to show the I want to show you these numbers and tell you that they are in fact not wrong. That looping using the for next array takes not a lot of time, five, six seconds, but the locate it's faster than the precision of the DOS time function. So it is very, 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 very fast. So whenever you can, we need to extract information from an array. Rather than counting how many items there are in there and looping through it, this uh, loop remove is always, always faster. Our next test is using the field versus the square brackets test. Now we'll scroll the code again. Okay. So here we've done two things. We've created an array of 100,000 elements, and the array is equal to the number, star, ABC. And what we've decided to do is first we will loop removing them, finding the information using the square bracket operator, as we do here. So we say, first I want to start at character number one and go until I encounter a star or asterisk. And P2 will be, I want to start at the item, start at the last character and going backwards until I hit a star. So the first one would say start here till I get a star, got it. The second case says start here till I get a star, got it. Straightforward. The second piece of the code, we have a for next loop here where we do a loop remove and we use the field statement. We'll get piece number one is field item star one. P piece two equals field of item using a star as a delimiter and give me the second occurrence. Now in this particular case, the square bracket operator is really going to make sense for working with the first piece or the second piece. Let's run this test right here because the results are a little bit surprising. We'll run this third test which is field versus uh, square brackets test. And If we take a look at these times we'll see that they are almost exactly the same. Apparently except for test 2 which took less time than it started with. Uh, in release of op in open insight releases 7 and 8 we did a lot of work with the string handling behind the scenes. We made the field statement tremendously faster than it used to be. In earlier versions of Open Insight, the square brackets were almost always faster than the field statement. Nowadays, it doesn't matter so much. So whatever is easiest for you to read with your code, use that statement instead. Okay, finally, we'll find out if B-tree extract is faster than a select statement. So if we scroll down our code here, and we'll take a look at this. Okay, we have a table here for this test called demo underscore cust. And demo cust has 100,000 items in the, in the table. And what we're going to do is test two things. One is we're going to do a select statement of the table with state equal California or with the state equal to New Jersey, as you scroll out there. So we do a clear select, which you always want to do before the first select statement in a process. We have the DOS time start time and the DOS time end time. We get our last statement. Then what we do is we try to find out how the results are if we have just a search screen of state where the values are New Jer California or, because you add VM in between means or, New Jersey. And we have our B tree extract statement, and we just find out how many hits we had here. Now the count is probably slowing us down, so let's comment out this count statement here. We'll press, oh, I've done something wrong there. We'll go down here, uh, and we'll go down a little bit further, and I will do on the uh, count statement here, I'll do a shift star, commented that out. We'll give it an F9 for a compile because it's real life code. I'm pretty happy with this so far. And now we will actually run this protect. So what's going to be faster, the B-tree extract or a select statement? So let's click on this and see which one goes faster. So out of the 100,000 items, we're going to select however many come out with New Jersey or California. And we'll see that test one using the select statements takes about a third of a second. And the other one, in some cases, the other one takes 0.76 seconds. If you take a look at this, you'll see that the results for the select statement are going to be different and they're going to vary. 
That's because it's going to be based more upon network traffic and the fact that a select statement may write temporary records back to the syslist table. So there are more things that may be out of your control than a straight B tree extract. But in general, the B tree extracts are always faster. I know it's tough to say general always in the same statement, but with B trees we have to do that. In most cases, the B tree extract will be faster, and it'll be faster by about 20%. So, just a quick review on what we did with our array building. We just found out that using the string handlers was faster than using the dynamic array elements. Extracting information, string handlers were also faster. Fields versus square brackets, about the same since Open Insight Release 7. And B tree extract versus select, B tree extracts are always about 20% faster. So thanks very much for your attention. Uh, we enjoy making these videos and getting your feedback. Please let us know what we should do more with uh, info at revelation.com, and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks very much.